hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you a very interesting project called as anti slop sampler before i show you how to install it locally and play around with it let's try to see what exactly this project is doing anti slop is an open source sampler project designed to improve the output quality of large language models by reducing unwanted or irrelevant text this unwanted and irrelevant text is also known as slop the way it works is quite interesting it uses a backtracking mechanism to adjust token probabilities and retry generating text when it encounters disallowed words or phrases and you can create your own disallowed words or phrases and then on the basis of it whatever llm generates it makes it backtracks it so in this video we are going to install it locally plus we are going to use it with open source models all local all private private with open web ui before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus so do check them out okay so coming back to this anti slop slammer in the context of large language models or llms slop refers to unwanted or irrelevant text generated by the model such as repetitive phrases unrelated topics nonsensical sentences over represented words or phrases such as common idioms clichés slop can detract from the overall quality and coherence of the generated text so let's go and try to get it installed so i'm running here ubuntu 22.04 let me quickly show you so this is my operating system and i have one gpu card which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram courtesy mast compute let me create a virtual environment with conda i'm just calling it ai let's wait for it to get created so the first step i'm going to do i'm going to install some of the prerequisites which include torch transformers and that sort of stuff and then i am going to install open web ui open web ui is a uh, quite a popular easy open source tool which enables you to run large language models locally i already have covered open web ui on the channel so if you're interested have a look at it but i'm going to show you how to install it again here installation is fairly simple so we are going to install open web ui and then in open web ui um we will be uh, running our model and we'll be serving it through our uh, anti slop sampler so let me show you how to do that so let's wait for all of these prerequisites to get installed this takes couple of minutes because it installs lot of stuff while that happens let me also introduce you to one of the sponsors of the video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language which enables you to extract data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page so do check them out okay so let's go back to anti slop sampler almost there i guess so everything is installed here let me clear the screen let's now install open web ui for that all you need to do is to run this command pip install open web ui and that should be done very quickly it don't take too long now and open web ui is installed let me clear the screen next up let's serve it and all we need to do is to run this command open web ui serve it is going to start it on our local system so let's wait for it to get launched and you can see that now our open web ui is running now open another terminal window by just clicking here new window and then because i already have conda installed so i'm going to deactivate my default environment i'm going to activate my new environment let's clear the screen now here what we need to do we need to git clone the repo of this sampler so let me do it and i will also drop the link to it in video description so i'm just 
cloning the repo and then I have CD into it. Let's install all the prerequisites which we need like fast API and UVCon. Let's wait for them to finish installing. Shouldn't take too long. And everything is installed now. Let me clear the screen. What we are doing here is we are just starting this anti slop server which is going to serve this Lama 3.23 billion model in quantized format from Unsloth. So let's run it. It is going to start serving it. Let's wait. It is going to download it if it is your first time and make sure that you have this much space just over 6 gig on your local system. Let's wait for the model to get downloaded. And the model is almost downloaded. And the anti slop sampler is now running on our local system. Okay, so let's go to the browser and launch our open web UI at port 8080. It is going to launch it here. And first time you just have to sign up, just click on sign up here. Just type your name, email, and your password and create the account. So let me do that. And then it also signs you in. So let's just click on let's go here. So we are now in open web ui on the top left you can select the model which we have just uh, downloaded and you can even set it as default so i just set it as default and now we need to integrate it with our auto sampler now in order to do uh, in order to do that all you need to do that you just have to uh, go to admin panel and there are a few ways you can access it easily the best way is to just click on your profile at the top right and then admin panel and then you will see that there are various options click on settings here and by the way it is quite flexible open web ui you can select a lot of settings but for us just let's go to connection because we are trying to integrate it with the provider the um, our own anti slop sampler in the api just replace it with your local and this is where if you remember that auto sampler is running as you can see here at port 8000 so that is what we have given it and because it is open a compatible format that is why we are also putting in v1 api key uh, you don't really have to worry about it you can just say uh, test or whatever because it's not used we are not using olama api if you want you can use it but i'm just going to use this open api and then simply click on save here and our connection is saved once that's done, let's go back here and you can go to chat and we are here. So either you just refresh it from the browser or you just uh, use it as is. So now you see that we now you can just start chatting with it and then click on new chat. Your model is already selected and you can just start typing something like write a short story about happiness and then press enter here let's wait for it it is going to take a bit of a time to load the model there you go you see so i have re-ran it if you really focus you will see that it is trying to backtrack you see it is typing something backtracking just focus here it is quite fast i'm not sure how to make it slow but you see it just changed personal growth here so this is what it is fixing the slop you see it just fixed personality traits and that sort of stuff very nice and let me show you behind the scene so if i take you to this anti slop samplers github repo and we just go up and i open this json file which have all the slop phrases so this is how it works so it has given these phrases with the probabilities and then it works accordingly the higher the probability the higher it is going to use it and so for example if i go back here and then maybe i'll just go here and just try to type something like who is Fahad Mirza the AI YouTuber right 
Ben Yolody. Oh, Let's see. I'm hoping that it is going to retract. So you see it retracted. <laughs> that is writing my eulogy here. That is cool. You see guys, you need to subscribe it or share it while the fun is still going on. It was a masterpiece in creativity. Remember that. So you see, it is backtracking quite quickly. I wish I could slow it down and then play it, but there is a video on their website, on their GitHub repo, where this guy has shown it backtracking in a slow motion, so you can check it out. And of course, you can adjust the probabilities in that JSON file and mold it and adapt it as per your own use case. So that's it. Before I leave you uh, with it, let me also give a huge thanks to Agent QL who are sponsoring this video. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.